Within its synth engine, the Ultranova has three low-frequency oscillators, or LFOs, available for modulating the synth's parameters. The LFOs can be assigned to very different controls via the modulation matrix. Let's take a look at the parameters available under the LFO pages. The first parameter sets the rate or speed of the LFO. Note that the LFOs can be slowed all the way down to being static, or at 0 Hz, if this value is set to 0. We can also synchronize the LFO speed to a division of the internal or external clock using the second control knob. This is useful for making tight rhythmic patterns with the LFOs, which can then sync up with the arpeggiator or external MIDI source. Next up, we can set the waveform of each LFO. There is an array of 37 different wave shapes that we can apply to each LFO. These range from the standard waveforms such as sine, triangle, sawtooth, and square. A random sample and hold effect. A random sample and hold effect with only minimum and maximum values. A curved sawtooth shape called piano envelope. Seven sequenced based waveforms. Eight waveforms which alternate between the minimum and maximum values. And a variety of pitched waveforms, which will sound chromatically if the pitch is being modulated by a depth of 30 in the modulation matrix. On the next control knob, we can set the starting phase of each LFO. The fifth control knob governs the slew rate of the LFO. This sets by how much the LFO is smoothed and is most noticeable on waveforms which are not smooth or graduated to begin with. On the pitched waveforms, slewing has the effect of adding portamento to these patterns. Further through the menu, we can set key presses to re-trigger the LFO, or for the LFOs to run freely. For polyphonic patches, we can set whether each LFO is common to each voice, and therefore applies the same modulation source to each note played. or whether each voice has its own independent LFO. This can be useful in conjunction with keysync to create patches which add movement to spread chords, for example. Next up, we can set each LFO to one-shot mode. If turned on, this will cause each waveform to only be generated for a full cycle.
This can be very useful with shapes such as the piano envelope waveform in order to add several more envelope-like effects. On the second page, we have several options which allow for delaying and fading in and out of the LFO per key pressed. Firstly, the LFO delay parameter sets the amount of time that the LFO should be delayed for. The delay sync parameter then allows for delay time to be synchronized to the internal or external clock. Note that the first delay parameter is now disregarded. We can set how the LFO is delayed using the in and out switch. Firstly, we can set the LFO to fade in gradually during the delay time. Or we can set the LFO to simply initiate at full amplitude after the delay time has passed with gate in. We can then do the opposite to the LFO and have it either fade out over the delay time or simply run until the delay time has passed, then stop in gate out mode. Lastly, we can choose whether or not each new note played re-triggers the delay under the delay trigger menu.